Welcome to another ESG Lab video summary. Over the next few minutes, I'll be reviewing the results from a recently completed ESG Lab validation of the HP ProLiant DL560 Gen 8 server. And I'll be focusing on how it can help organizations meet mission critical performance requirements in virtualized database environments with the newly released SQL Server 2014. A main goal for any IT administrator is achieving a maximum level of operational and infrastructure efficiency with a limited budget. And it's no surprise that the benefits of server virtualization have helped organizations work towards that goal and will continue to help in the year ahead. In fact, in our recently completed 2014 IT Spending Intention Survey, ESG asked respondents to identify the most important IT priorities over the next 12 months. And what was tied for number one on the list? The increased use of server virtualization. HP understands that goal, and they're trying to help with their latest server offering, the ProLiant DL560 Gen 8 server. It's a rack server that's designed to deliver performance, scalability, and expandability. As a Gen 8 density-optimized four-socket 2U server, it's built on the HP Proactive Insight architecture, and it comes with a large set of capabilities to really drive organizations to higher levels of efficiency while lowering total cost of ownership. This is especially true for mission-critical database workloads in virtualized environments that require truly compact and powerful computing capacity. With that in mind, ESQ Lab tested the DL560 with the goal of validating the performance scalability, improved consolidation levels, and manageability that's achievable in virtualized mission-critical database environments with Microsoft SQL Server 2014. The testbed that was used is shown here. A single DL560 was used as the system under test, running Windows Server 2012 R2 with Hyper-V. Four HP SmartArray P431 storage controllers were connected to the server with just under three terabytes of usable capacity each. We configured eight SQL Server 2014 VMs with four vCPUs and 28 gigabytes of memory and loaded each VM with a 20,000 customer database. We drove the VMs with two workload generating servers that were directly connected to the DL560 via two one gigabit Ethernet NICs. And we used a real world OLTP workload that simulated the activity of thousands of SQL Server users that were spread across the eight VMs. For the first phase of testing, we measured the number of transactions per second and average transaction response time as the number of virtual machines scaled from two to eight, with the eight VM test case running against 160,000 simulated OLTP users. As shown here, we achieve linear performance scalability of over 1,000 transactions per second for every two VMs, and the average transaction response time remained at 0.01 seconds throughout the testing. And what this shows is that organizations can confidently deploy multiple instances of SQL Server running OLTP database workloads within a single HP DL560 without impacting performance. Next, we focused on the 8VM test case where we totaled around 4,300 transactions per second and dug a little deeper into the virtual machine performance itself, specifically how the load was distributed. This is an important aspect of virtualized infrastructures because having an even workload distribution across all the VMs helps to validate the underlying server's ability to really meet the application's resource consumption requirements. Along with the aggregate total of transactions per second, we broke down the results for each VM with the goal of seeing a proper workload distribution, and we saw just that. Each VM averaged around 540 transactions per second, with very little variation between each of the SQL Server VMs. In our last phase of performance testing, we measured SQL Server batch requests per second. Is there a true indicator of a SQL Server's activity level? And this metric is highly dependent on the hardware and quality of code running on the server, which in this case was a single HP DL560. It's important to note that a physical server achieving 1,000 SQL Server batch requests per second is more often than not used by many organizations as an upper threshold. In fact, many organizations aim to get less than 1,000 batch requests per second because they think anything over that number is just too high and can start causing bottlenecks. In our testing, we witnessed a single VM achieve around 1,000 batch requests per second, and as VMs were added, the number predictably scaled up to around 8,000 with 8 VMs, showing that the HP DL560 could comfortably handle that consolidated OLTP workload. Lastly, we learned about HP Insight Control and how it serves as a management tool that helps organizations utilize all the features and functions built into the DL560. The management software provides a set of tools and capabilities that help proactively monitor the health and performance of HP server hardware in physical and virtual environments. We focused on Insight Control's integration with Microsoft System Center, and specifically Operations Manager, Virtual Machine Manager, and Configuration Manager. At a high level, Insight Control offers these extensions to System Center that deliver comprehensive system health and alerting, driver and firmware updates, detailed inventory of operating system deployments, and HP Fabric visualization. 
So why does all this matter? In the beginning, organizations focused their server virtualization efforts strictly on improving application consolidation. As confidence and expertise with the technology continues to improve, so too will their consideration for deploying the next tier of mission-critical applications. For IT organizations supporting large numbers of users, implementation hesitancy stems from the misconception that server virtualization yields unpredictable performance scalability. While this performance concern is understandable, we found that the latest virtualization technology has gone a long way to address it. And this is especially true when combined with modern server hardware like the DL560 that comes with built-in acceleration for virtualized environments, especially ones that service mission-critical application workloads like OLTP. ESQLab validated the performance scalability and consolidation levels that can be achieved when leveraging the power and efficiency of an HP DL560 in a virtualized database environment. A real-world OLTP workload was simulated on up to eight VMs running SQL Server 2014, and linear performance was witnessed as the customer data set reached levels as high as 160,000. The workload was distributed evenly across each of the eight VMs, while each individual SQL Server instance delivered enough batch requests per second to qualify as being considered a very active SQL Server. The performance of a production server running a mission-critical application like SQL Server 2014 is paramount, especially when delivering the application experience that a customer deserves and expects. If you're looking for greater levels of consolidation and predictable performance scalability in your production environment, especially for virtualized mission-critical database applications, we suggest taking a look at the HP ProLiant DL560 Gen 8 server. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESQLab validation report from the ESQ website.